Hi, I'm Scaly Mom here at Scaly Adventures. Tanya Curran, the Director of Education. Here you're going to see video clips, behind the scenes footage and extra footage we just couldn't fit into the episode. It was so good because the experts we film with are wonderful, they're passionate. And when we get on the scene, we film as much as we can during the time that we have. But we can't fit it all into a half hour episode. It goes by just like that. So what we want to do here is show you footage that's educational for you to see and check out that's never been seen before on TV. So here it is. So Pierce, this is our Eagle Hacking Tower located on beautiful Douglas Lake. As you can see, uh, we're in a very private cove here. And what we're trying to do here is uh, create an artificial nest for young eaglets that have been captive hatched at our facility so that we can keep them wild and introduce them into the, into the wild in, a, in the most natural way possible. Wow. So This is amazing. So the size of each container is about the size of an actual eagle nest? Each enclosure uh, is approximately eight by eight by eight, but we try to, there are some nests actually that can get up to several tons. So this would not be an abnormal size for a nest. Wow. There are smaller nests as well. But because we build them a little bit larger because we end up sometimes putting three eaglets in there. We want them to have plenty of room while they're up there before the uh, sliding doors are actually lifted and they're allowed to fly free. Oh, cool. So oftentimes with these birds, what do they do? Do they just mostly sleep in their containment units? Yeah, they, um, we call it their condo. That's a perfect <laughs> but, name. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, they do, they rest a lot. Young eagles do happen to, you know, lay down and rest quite a bit. And they, of course, they eventually will get up on some of the perches we've placed in there and they'll start flapping their wings. As they get closer and closer to the time they're going to leave the nest, they do a lot of what we call, you know, winger sizing or oh, exercising, cool. trying to get their, their wings strong enough to make that first flight. And also, of course, we provide food up there for them, so they do a lot of eating up there as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So when you release these birds, have you ever had one fail to fly the first time? No, it, uh, eagles are like people. You know, if, if we asked you, you know, put 10 people in an airplane with parachutes and asked them to jump, you know, there would be some that would jump right away and others that would take quite a long time. Well, eaglets are the same way. You know, some, some just bolt right out of there when we open the gate and others might take hours and sometimes overnight. Wow, that's amazing. So do you, where do you usually have to stand when you release them? Uh, well, we have, we have a, a long rope that comes off the back of the hack tower that uh, our guests can pull and it raises the door. You know, each one of these gates, as you can see, has ropes on them and they get lifted up and then as soon as that gate is open, they're free to go. Wow, well this is an amazing tower. How long did it take you to get it set up? Well, you know, it took, uh, it took I guess, uh, about a month or so to plan it and find the site, and then we had some builders come up, and it, it probably took them several weeks to build it. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. thank you for showing us this. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now you know how to introduce the young captive hatch eagles into the wild and to keep them wild so that they can hopefully eventually find their mates and uh, raise their own families wow. in the wild. That's amazing. So here's Buford here. They're a little younger. They're about, I guess, about seven to eight weeks. So when they're that young, they're still used to the parents coming up to the nest and tearing the food apart for them. Sounds lovely. Yeah. So <laughs> they don't know exactly yet, maybe to not try to cut a fish open yet. So what we do is we cut the food for them. So here you go. <laughs> wow, that smells divine. So we have a whole quail here, but we also have some chunks of fish. The quail is a little bit easier to tear apart, and we've also sliced it open already. So, so what do I do? Just pick it up? Yeah, we can just dump it. But right. if you want to grab it, you can grab it. <laughs> do I just put everything in there? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, all of it. I think I'll handle each piece just so that. What's it taste like, Pierce? No. <laughs> no. You've done that one before, and I actually did it. <laughs> Good job. Mm. And if you want to go ahead and get that water dumped in there for me too, mm -hmm. some fresh water. Drink it. You want a wet wipe? You know, she did say you could have dumped it. You could have just dumped the bag. Like, well, where's the fun in that? I know, but... Well, you can dump the next one. <laughs> At night, we have uh, raccoons come up here because they smell the fish. Oh, yeah. And uh, they can actually chew through a lot of this wood, and we have to continually the monitor the entire hack tower and fix it and repair things that raccoons have destroyed. They're, they're desperate to get into those eaglets in there. Wow. So would the and actually to get the fish too. Would the eagles try and attack them? Uh, well, they they could uh, grab a, a raccoon with their talons, but they're they're still fairly young birds, and those raccoons are pretty deadly 
spiders, you know, oh. and uh, so more likely the raccoon would kill the eaglet. Oh, wow. At this age, anyway. So when it comes to working with eagles, what is the rarest thing you could ever see? Probably, you know, probably just watching the birds grow and being hands on with them. Because when they're babies, um, you have to actually fill it up and get them out of the nest. You have to know how to handle them correctly and properly. Which a lot of people don't get the experience, you know? Wow. So we have to bring them from Dollywood over to here. So the whole process is pretty intense. So. Do you hear them calling? Do they make a lot of noise when you're transferring them? Um, they're pretty quiet because they're really scared. So they just kind of cower down. What do we have? <laughs> so see, it's a good thing when the eagles are scared of you because that's what we want. Oh. We don't want them to be okay with us because then that means that they... Because if they're okay for you, they might be okay for somebody who's not yeah. nice enough. Correct. Okay. 